Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a paracord handle wrap. We're using the zigzag hitching method, and since I'm fresh out of large survival knives, we're doing it on rubber mallet. Let's dive in. So for this wrap, you're going to need three different pieces of paracord. They can be all the same color, but just for clarity, I'm going to use three different colors here. You also need a rubber band, just to hold things in place. If you're making this knot on a handle that you want to keep, you're probably going to want to finish it off with Turk's head wraps on the ends, but the rubber band is going to be plenty for what we're doing today. Start by taking all three ends of your cord, and we're going to rubber band them to the end of our handle. And then we're just going to pull our cord through a little ways for some extra slack. So we keep our options open when deciding how to secure the end after we're done. All right, then we're going to lean all the cords over to the right side, like this. And we're going to start with this bottom cord, in this case the black. Just going to take these two out of the way and fold them down. And we'll start by taking this cord around the handle and then putting the end down through the loop we've just created. This is what's called a half hitch. It's just a simple knot around an object. We'll tighten that down just loosely for now, and then we'll tighten them all down together when we do all three knots. So now we're just going to follow it up with our next cord going around the handle and putting our tail end underneath. Next, the red one. Alright, so the important thing to remember in this knot is that we want all of these knots to be tightened evenly, because that's going to make the most even wrap going up the middle. So now we'll snug each one down in turn. And you should have all three cords coming out right on top of each other. If it's angled, then your knot's going to be off. Alright, so those are pretty good and tight. They're just kind of sliding through my rubber band here, so we want to keep that tight. Now we're going to take our black cord again, and instead of going around the same way that we did before, we're going to come around to the left side, and then put it underneath, and bring our end through just like before, just a mirror of what we did before. So we've got a stripe going across the front, and then we'll take our next one, which is our black and red. Same thing. Cinch that down a little bit. And our last one. Like that. You can start to see the pattern kind of coming out. We want to be careful in how we tighten this down, because over tightening it can lead to a lot of gaps in our, our knotting. So we just want to tighten it evenly before moving on to the next step. We're going to keep going here. We'll catch you when we made a little bit more progress. Alright, so there's our completed handle wrap. Um, like I said, we wouldn't leave the ends just hang like this. You'd probably want to tie them up in some other kind of knot. A Turk's head wrap would tighten that down really nicely. Or else you could use a clove hitch or a constrictor knot just to secure the ends. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, leave us a like and subscribe. We put out videos like this twice a week on paracord and knots and things like handle wraps. So stay tuned and we'll see you next time.